Welcome back to the Abundant Harvest Homestead. I'm Papa Pepper, and um, man, recently something happened around here. And because of that, it seems like a lot of our animals are in jeopardy. Now, a bit ago I did a video up over here, just cleaning some fish, and I was talking about whether or not the government would come kill all my chickens. You can watch that video for a frame of reference on that. But this, this is something else. I actually just watched a pile of my guineas. You can hear them now, but they just crossed the street, out the driveway, past our rock pillar fence. They're up on the neighbor's yard right now. We've been letting them run a little bit more, try to combat these ticks this year. A lot of ticks going on right now, and uh, not always a good situation. I just about got like a eight day, seven day with two extra spots, so eight or nine day total rotational grazing system set up here for my sheep. You can see they're all scattered out behind me. Big ones back over there. Big four horned Jacob sheep rams. And some of these now are kind of, uh, they're in jeopardy. And if I look out in this pasture, there's about 50 meat chickens running around everywhere in here. Their time may be very short, shorter than I thought. And here's why. See, one thing happened around here recently which changed everything. Um, smokehouse. Smokehouse. <sighs> Part of having our animals here is that they would be a blessing to us, that they would be able to serve their purpose. Every animal that ever lives will die part of life at least these days it is and when we have animals that give us milk or give us eggs of course that happens when they're alive when we have animals that reproduce and give us the next generation that happens when they're alive but there comes a time even for them to die a sheep we've had for many years given us a lot of offspring eventually that's gonna be nearing the end of its life even for the ewes a good laying hen has a life expectancy. We can let things die naturally, but if we can get not only the eggs and not only the chicks, but also the meat from that bird, that increases the return on our investment. So now, because of the smokehouse, I look out around here and I'm like, well, if Zeke does all right, because we weren't sure how he was doing a bit ago, if he does all right, then my four horn ram, Jacob, Ah. Boom, we can take him out, put him in the smokehouse. These meat chickens. They are running around like crazy. I love them. They're still a little small, but very soon I have such added incentive, boom, to get him in the smokehouse. I look at my ducks. We might have some older ducks that don't really lay much. We have too many males. So now, because of that smokehouse, I have an added level of incentive. Now, when we eat our animals, they're delicious, no matter what. But when they're that delicious, it just expedites the process. It just puts me taking out the extra males a little higher up on the list. It just, you know, puts me sorting through the flocks, making sure we got everyone we need and getting rid of the ones we don't a little higher up on the list. And that was an unexpected blessing of having the smokehouse. Um, we ran Mama Turkey through there the other day. 
we ran a couple of carp fillets through there and uh, some oxtail and some beef liver and some squash and it was all amazing right now i just got out of the creek uh after spear fishing some suckers I'm gonna smoke some whole suckers. I'm gonna take a whole gizzard chat, I'm gonna smoke that. I got some more carp fillets I'm thawing right now to smoke that. And I'm gonna take out whatever extra ducks we got. I just gotta make sure I know who's who. And uh, the children are kind of more hands-on on that. When you raise children right, they can take stewardship of things at a very young age. And I know a number of people online are often impressed with some of our children. We are too course just like adults they have room for improvement we all have room for improvement but the jobs that they do pretty impressive um, and when they have an opportunity to kind of take stewardship over something have that be their domain and just kind of master their domain boy they run a good show they really do so they keep a lot of genetics straight they got some like farm journals where they Make sure they know who was born when, who everyone's parents are, different things like that. And even this year for our, our birth of the lambs on the uh, homestead, a lot more rams. That's good. They may not make it through the winter. I may try to get them as fat as I possibly can through the summer and fall and uh, just have them join us for dinner. So I gotta figure out which one of these ducks, which ones of these ducks are gone because I want to taste them too. In a grand opening of our smokehouse video, I hot smoked Mama Turkey for 10 hours, pretty much from nine in the morning until about seven at night. And she was still dripping and moist and juicy on the inside, but she had just had this nice bark on the outside, just this nice, deep, penetrated, smoky, oh, so amazing. And I bet you the ducks are going to be absolutely awesome too. So this thing is about to rock it hard tomorrow. And I got some prep work to do today. Hey, I actually just watched a little bit of footage of them walking here. So let's just... Uh, And so it begins, again. Here I have four ducks that I brined last night. And then here is a gizzard shed, six suckers, and uh, two carp worth of filet. Including a mirror carp I shot, which is pretty awesome. There's a whole video you can watch on that if you're interested.
ducks that I brined all night, I'm gonna put some jerk seasoning on some of them too. That's the guys going today. As soon as I find someone else who's ready, they're heading right in there. Right now, this has been in here for over a couple hours. 160 at the top. 170 here 165 there about um, it did get up to over 200 up to 220 and it's kind of been dropping since then But it's been a couple hours since I even opened this thing. Let's take a peek Oh Yeah, that's why and whoa a carp ha this is exactly why I do What I do the way I do it? Here's a carp fillet. It slid off the hook. It was a heavy big one. It slid off the hook. And that's why I put, oh, I lost a, a fish somewhere too. There he is. Oh man, he ripped in half. And that's one of the deals with spear fishing these. Is uh, yeah. That's the one I shot through the head. Interesting. I'm actually just gonna rinse this off and uh, rehang all this and stoke it back up. But that's why I put grates beneath it and I'm gonna get more grates where that wouldn't have happened. I'm gonna have grates from the front to the back that I can put on here. Everyone's looking delicious. Let's rehang that carp, rinse this off and get this hung up back there too. It's part of why I double hook a lot of stuff. This actually looks really delicious. It looks like it might be cooked already, but I'm gonna keep this smoking process going. Oh yeah, that meat is awesome. Not sure, I think I might just rehook this one. Um, maybe I'll just set on a rack up top. Set her down there. Same thing with this carp. This carp is pretty much cooked, but I want to keep the smoke process going, so I'm just going to set it up top. Blasted it through right there with my spear gun. This thing is still dripping on the inside. Look at how incredible and golden that is. This has been almost three hours of smoking, but I'm going to keep it going because I know it'll be even tastier. Oh, this changes spear fishing for me. It just does. These ducks, oh, this is looking amazing. I can't wait. This is going to be so delicious.
choked it off and let this fire go for a bit. I was riding at 200 for a while. Fire's still kicking pretty well, so I'm just gonna move the grates up a level and lay the ducks down on there. What? Beautiful, beautiful stuff. Oh man. Sixty in the middle right now. One sixty at the top. One thirty at the bottom. I'll time this and see what happens. And basically five minutes later, we're at two hundred, almost two twenty, at about two ten. So it just picks up really quick and pops back to uh, some decent temps. And that smoke is just rolling. I really can't wait for the meat chickens to get to size and other things. Um, this is going to make it so much more efficient of a homestead because if you think about it normally, how would I do a duck? You know, I'd have to, there's only so many I can fit in the oven. Um, I could probably fit four in the oven at a time, you know what I mean? But here I can do so many more. Oh, I'm so excited. And I'm going to have to look into smoking and then canning as well. Um, I know some people do that with salmon and other things. I gotta look into that because that just sounds good to me. It is now like five minutes later, and I know this one's a little bit over 200, but that one's at 200, and that one's just about 200. So we're pretty much rolling straight at 200. Oh, makes me feel better about moving those guys up. And I'll kind of rotate them later, but they're cooking. They're amazing. I love this. I could get used to this. I know mama could get used to it because if I just cook a whole bunch of meat at once, that makes a lot of meals a lot easier. After a long time riding around like 200, we got about 180, 190, 185. So I'm gonna open this up and just give it a peek, make sure everyone's still hanging. And I kind of wanted to capture if we got a bunch of smoke rolling out or not. And that's what I thought. We got less now because it's been burning so hot. Wow. 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 Wow, wow. Y'all. Ugh. That is amazing. You see what I'm talking about? Let me step back, catch my breath for a moment. And things are just, they're rolling. These birds are amazing. Just gonna flip them over for a bit. Oh. Just juice is pouring out. Wow. Check. Ha! You know that is so, so done. Oh, man. And beautiful. Oh, there goes the tail. Chickens will get that. Wow. Wow, look at that, it's folding in half already. Look at that meat. Look at how cooked that is. Wow, just right off the bone, right off the ribs. That's beautiful. This 
smoke it up a little more and I mean we're done we're cooked it's awesome I'm just gonna have more smoke for the sake of having more smoke look at this guys I pulled these gold and beautiful bronze babies out of there started nibbling on the one already pulled the hearts out too these guys are amazing so tasty so done I decided just to hang them ducks and I got that gizzard shad still hanging there. Carp in the back. Everything's everything's done. It's done. It's ready for dinner. I'm gonna see what mom has planned. And we've got a while till dinner. So either I leave it in there to stay warm, or I um, I bring it in the house and maybe warm it up later. I want to show mama these fish though. Yeah. Let's see what she thinks. Howdy, honey. Come over here. Okay. Would you pull the top off of here and see what you think? <coughs> what do you think about that? Wow. How do they look to you? Wow. They look beautiful, first of all. Wow. Yeah. Mm. And delicious. Mm. Smell like fish. The fish at the lake are in danger. And all of our animals are in danger. <laughs> Look inside here that once. Great. Wow. Very nice. Okay. Whew. See those ducks? I'll have to stand back for just a moment. Yeah. I'll pull one out for Whew. you. <laughs> Smoky looky. Here's what we're doing. Don't wow. oh, oh, hang on. Hot. That's even hotter. Okay. Look at that thing, Mama. Wow. I still had like juices dumping you out of there. You think they're ready yet? Oh yeah, they're they're ready. Okay. One hundred percent ready. What was I say? Yeah. Oh yeah, they're they're completely cooked. I was just giving them extra smoke. Okay. Keeping them warm. You want to try a piece of that little fish? For sure. I got some open over there. Sure. I'll leave Can that. Oh. The kickstand's on it too. Oh, here. Remember, it's got little, but look at this. The spine came out super easily. I mean, mm. that just like fell out. But oh. remember, they got little bones in them, so kind of pick a piece, sort through it. That'll have the ribs plus. Plus other bones? Mm hmm. Okay. Mm. What do you think of that flavor? It's some good flavor. I shot that yesterday. What is this one? Sucker. Mmm. Mmm, very nice. That's definitely very tasty. I figure we'll get some uh, duck reaction too and then shut down this video. Mm. Okay, sounds good. And we'll wait till dinner time to get the duck reaction for y'all. Um, I'm gonna let this, mm. Mm. these suckers chill. Let's see if the kids want to snack on some hearts. And I'll probably just let this sit for a moment. Mama, they're still dripping. They're still dripping. That's awesome. Wow. Mm -hmm. Hot. Is it hot? <laughs> what is it, buddy? You say hot? You say hot? Stay back, buddy. There's flies in there. Yeah, there's a bug. What is your immediate reaction after just two days of using the smoker. It's great. And super delicious. Ha! <laughs> and darling, like, we could have probably done four ducks at the same time. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? In our oven. Yeah. But not with all these fish and other things too, and uh, I think this is just better. You're still just eating away at it. Mm -hmm. She likes it, guys. She's a smart woman. I'll show you her munching on some ducks in a bit. <laughs> hey, buddy boy. Hey. Can you have Son, it took me a long time to put 56 five gallon buckets of gravel there. Down a little piece. Smoke sucker, little man. Yeah, me say that. Do you like it? Oh, he comes back for more. He likes it. He likes it. Hey. Buddy, don't play with my gravel. This is not a sandbox. Oh, guys. Wow. 
No way. I just nibbled into one of these hearts. Mmm. That was insane. I was not expecting that at all. Mmm. Wow. My lady. Hey, buddy boy, the kickstand's open, so don't try to shut the door. Leave the door open. Darling, you need to go try a heart. Go pick up a heart and just nibble the tip off. I was blown away. Just bite that end off, that pointy end. Mmm. That's good. Doesn't it taste like there's some awesome beef jerky or something? Mm hmm I mean, it really... Mine's almost gone. I'm kind of savoring it. It really, really, really does. I'll see what Bug thinks. It does taste good. That's amazing flavor, too. Eat your heart out. Mm-mm-mm. Mm-hmm. Mm Oh my bug, you brought me water on this hot day. Come here. Yeah. Mama's gonna give you a little heart. I want you to nibble on this thing and see what you think about it. Mm. Mm. You can tell already? Yeah. How much do you like that? Good. Real. Good? Real? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Oh, it's gone. Isn't that awesome stuff? Yeah, one more. What's that, son? I have one more. One more what? Um, Holly? A duck heart? Yeah. You want another one? Yeah. You may. You can have half. You'll have to share half with one of your siblings because we only have four hearts. So bite half of it and enjoy it and then give the half to the other half to somebody else. Oh, that's, that's probably... Yeah, that piece is good for him. Yeah, buddy. Duck heart. And you picked the smallest person in your family to share with, because then you knew you got to keep the most? Yeah. <laughs> ha! I'm going to cut this other one up and see what the children think. So Bug just tried one of those. I want you guys each pick one of those pieces, and then take a little nibble on it and see what you think. Hey, Pinky, come try some duck heart. It's really good. Mm -hmm. There's one slice for you there. I think it tastes good. Yeah? Do you think it tastes like anything? Kind of like mama turkey? Kind of like mama turkey? <laughs> My first bite, I was blown away. I was like, wow. I was not expecting it to be that amazing. It really good. It reminded me of some really good beef jerky. Mm -hmm. And then, I got these guys. What do you guys think? How's that look, Pinky? Mm -hmm. That look awesome. Yeah. And you guys can pick through this one if you want, but it does have little bones, so be very careful. And then what do we got for tonight? Uh, duck. Duck. I'm ready. It's been ready. And I'm definitely ready. I think let's take one of these out, let's cut it up, and let's see what happens, right? You ever seen such a thing? Look at that duck. <clears throat> that is an absolutely beautiful looking bird. I think I'm just going to peel a piece of this off, slice it up into a couple pieces and see what the family thinks. Kind of an appetizer. I know Red Pepper's making some rolls for our dinner right now. We're going to get some vegetables ready too, but 
I took care of the meat. And it looks beautiful in there. I see it, there's juices running out of it right now. Wow. I love how juicy this stuff is. Just like the turkey. Wow, you guys gotta come look at this. Just look at that. I'm gonna cut this in a couple strips and see who wants to take a nibble. I think I'll set this one back in there. Keep the flies off it. All right, children, we got smokehouse duck going on right now. Try some pieces of that. I don't know what it tastes like. Mm. Well, does it taste good? It tastes like duck. It yeah. tastes good. And how's the flavor? Good. And how's the tenderness? Really tender. It's really tender and juicy still, ain't it? Mm -hmm. Awesome. Would you eat it again? Uh -huh. Yeah, I bet. That? Wow. She's been oh, you're very excited about that. I don't. I don't even think you tasted it. Was as quickly as you ate that? I don't think she did. Hey, child, try a piece of this duck. Can I have another piece? Ha! Huh. Okay. Look at that. Now we have to save one on here for mom at least. Look at that. They all just coming back, coming back for more. Hey. What do you think, child? What do you think, child? I think it tastes good. Yeah, did you want another? You ready to have some for dinner? Sure. Yeah, I think so. I am. All right, I'm gonna go in the house and check mom. You can grab one more little one, man. And the little one was sleeping, so Mama didn't get to come out. There's a couple tender little pieces for you. Mm. Remember, dark meat or duck meat's darker, so it looks, you know, almost like uncooked steak. How's that flavor and tenderness? Mm. Would you eat that for dinner? Mm -hmm. All right, because we get to. <laughs> and now all of our animals are at risk. All of them. Oh boy. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Oh, except for that one. That one's not at risk. Okay, there's a couple that aren't. We'll have to decide what we're going to do next. And one of our friends was asking if he's got some older steak, if we could maybe make some jerky out of it. What do you think? Mmm. I bet we could. Yeah. I'll tell you what, too. My oven only goes down to 170 degrees. I wish I could go lower than that for making jerky. Well, guess what I can go lower than that on? My smokehouse. Absolutely, I could ride that thing at 160, it looks like pretty easily. So, we're gonna let that finish up. That was a success. Yes. I want the meat chicks to grow. I want everyone to reproduce. I want a lot more and I'm excited. Um, this changes things. It makes it easier for us to harvest animals because there's more of an incentive. It's not just food, it's really, really tasty food. I mean, within a day or two of firing up the first time, boom, all our extra ducks gone, just like that. Well, they ain't gone yet, but they're joining us for dinner. We'll see you next time. Papa out.